walking out at Eastern Washington University. In a little over a month, Washington state lawmakers will approve a budget. A $2.6 billion deficit will mean painful cuts to things like higher education. And there is talk of eliminating the NEED grant program, which offers scholarships to the neediest students. That would save the state $146.4 million. There's also talk of cutting funding to public colleges and universities by $89.5 million. Also being discussed, cutting work study and other financial uh, financial aid by 34.7 million. And this is all on top of an already approved 14% tuition increase of 14% for the next two years. This afternoon, EWU students walked out of class in protest of the potential cuts. KXLY4 Sally Showman was there. She's live tonight at Eastern. Sally. Robert Eastern is the least expensive public university in the state. Some students I talked to called it the last stop in affordable higher education. But if these proposed budget cuts go into effect, it could become a lot less affordable, affecting more than 3,000 students. And those students are fired up. We need this funding to stay here. We just need to make our voice known. Investing in us now is better for the future. Hundreds gathered. <laughs> each with a personal story. I'm a first generation student as well as many others here. I'm a senior now. Okay. In more than one way. <laughs> at 56, Rita Amenrud is earning her degree. I last finished it at the seventh grade. Her tuition is covered by the state. 100 percent. If the state pulled her financial aid, she would have to drop out. She's among the third of Eastern students who would be affected. My dad just passed away about a month ago and he said, one of the last things he said is, uh, my daughter is at the university and I'm proud of her. And I just hope that I get to finish this. To her, the signs and loud cheers are reminiscent of her childhood in the 60s. But for others, it's something new. I was encouraged, but it needs to be bigger. It needs to be better. It needs to have more enthusiasm and more student participation. They say investing in the future of the state now will only save money down the road. If we're not getting education, we're going to later have to rely on the social welfare programs, and that's going to be a burden on the state. Our students are, again, our first generation low income students um, who have uh, hopes and dreams just like University of Washington students do. They hope their loud voices are heard 320 miles away in Olympia. Without the state funding, uh, education is just not possible. Speak up, don't let yourself be silent. Students were walking around at the rally with a video camera, getting video testimonials from specific students. They're going to edit that all together, make a little movie, and send it off to lawmakers in Olympia so lawmakers can hear the stories of students here uh, at Eastern. A statewide rally is scheduled on the Capitol's steps February 15th. Live at Eastern, Sally Showman, KXLY4 HD News.